But first off, we had a little posture. So I said, you want to stand with your heels together, maybe a little bit of turnout if you like it. Um, and I said, all the way up, your knees and thighs. Um, stand with your weight mostly on the balls of your feet, about 60, 40, so you can lift your heels with ease at any point in time. Uh, and then we went into a little bit more technical detail about our forward crossing steps. Um, we paid a lot of attention on passing through our axis nice and tight. We paid attention to um, extending our leg in front of us uh, before we transfer our weight. We also practiced extending and pushing so we get a little bit more length on these steps and seeing how that felt. And then we turned around, did the same thing backward, um, really focusing on passing the axis and pushing as far back as we can, really extending the Um, then we connected up. Again, we went into a little more technical detail this time because we had some experienced people in our lesson. Um, we connected leads primarily this time with um, this part of our forearm right here, the inside of our forearm, and then uh, laid our hand on the ball's back, still making sure to make full contact and not hover because that feels uncomfortable. But a lot of our lead, uh, or a lot of our connection now is originating from the forearm and is um, about here on the follows back. We're still leading from our chest, of course, but uh, as far as where our arm to arm connection comes in, that's where it's coming from. And this just provides a little bit more of a secure connection and a, a bit of a stronger embrace. Cool. And we took some Marcado steps, really paying attention to these weight shifts, and we started walking. We varied the size of our steps this time uh, after practicing uh, pushing forward as we extended or pushing farther backward as we extended. We took small steps, we took medium steps, we took large steps, and we practiced being clear leading them and being receptive to following them. Uh, we talked a little bit about uh, open steps mm -hmm. um, as well, which are anything that is not in this forward back axis here. So anything on this, of these angles is an open step. Mm -hmm. And that's the first step in the Hero to the Crusada. So we all have to move at this point. Uh, the, so the open step for the Hero to Crusada is taken a little bit past our follow to facilitate the next step. The next step is a back crossing step directly backwards. You'll notice we still have our chest rotated a little bit to each of our rights to uh, stay connected. Then we have our open step, which is really a 45 degree diagonal step to bring our partner back in line. We've still got a little bit of chest rotation here. And to lead the cursata, we leads, we will step in place and resolve that chest rotation. Mm -hmm. And then do you want to talk about the cursata for follows? So first thing for follows is that um, in this kind of 45 degree angled uh, step backwards, or open step, we wanted to make sure that when we come to this cursata, we didn't like hop up, we didn't give it too much of a level change when you come here. Um, we wanted to make sure it was nice and smooth across. Uh, the actual cursata is just um, crossing your foot over the other one and changing weight onto that crossed foot. Um, trying your hardest to keep it as small of a uh, small of a little swoop here as possible, and trying to keep this as, as tight as possible in, in a day. And then um, after each of these cursadas, you want to make sure to completely unwind, leaving the weight on the planted foot, but making sure that you do the full unwind um, back to a regular stance. Cool. From there, we taught uh, a couple of exits, the first of which was just a nice, easy walk out of it. You wait till your follow unwinds, and then you can walk. Uh, we also learned how to do the here cursada and immediately after your follow-up lines, leads you rotate your chest to the right, and you can go straight into the bolognese. Do forward up just to get out of that. And walk straight out. Uh, we also talked a little bit about bolognese technique after this. Um, for leads, we talked about how this is definitely love with your chest, but you don't want to be leading with your chest and leaving your feet behind because that makes things unclear. So we leave with the chest, but our feet come with us. And then for 
follows. For the follows, we talked about making sure to collect after each step. So making sure to put forward and collect to pivot. Side pivot. Um, in order to get that really nice uh, collection point and be pivoted on that foot. And we also talked about making sure to do a full extension, um, especially on that cross the back step, in order to keep your chest parallel to your knees. And we talked about as well, uh, especially on this back step, it's a lot of pivot, but uh, it's very important to make sure that you're pivoting enough to uh, make a perfect circle around your knees so that you don't uh, kind of step straight back and step away from your partner in the middle of the game. Yes. Um, after that, we talked a little bit about fluency and about um, incorporating moves into your dance, and we practiced doing that. And with that, that was our lesson. Uh, thank you all for coming out. Announcements.